Worthing to Berlin Gap, date 6th of August, 2020, day Thursday, time 6.15 p.m. The distance is 43.4 kilometers or 27 miles. Location, Worthing Yacht Club. Location, Berlin Gap. Weather information, Thursday, 6th of August, 2020. Data taken from the UK Met Office. Worthing weather leading up to the observation. Berlin Gap, the weather during the observation, closest weather station. The coast east of Worthing Yacht Club was observed with a P900. The link to the original video is in the description. Here is the video recording.
Burling Gap and Beachy Head with the Belltow Lighthouse. Screenshot from the video. Time 8 minutes 7 seconds. Screenshot enhanced for the sake of clarity. Brightness negative 12%. Contrast 60% in PowerPoint. The places and objects cited will be confirmed by comparison with other sources. Confirming the places and objects cited. Burling Gap, Beachy Head, and the Belltout Lighthouse. Burling Gap and Beachy Head. Beachy Head and the Belltout Lighthouse. Beachy Head, the Belltout Lighthouse, and the Jetting Out Cliff. Burling Gap. What is the height of the lowest cliff? Google Earth shows the lowest cliff at Burling Gap is 10 meters above mean sea level and the bottom of the cliff is 1 meter above mean sea level. Source 2. Burling Gap Steps. The cliff height at this point is around 30 feet or just over 9 meters high. Source 3. The said gentleman will be used as a visual guide. If the gentleman is taken to be approximately 5 foot 8 feet or 1.7 meters in height, then the cliff is approximately 23 feet or 7 meters high from the white line marker to the top of the cliff at its lowest point. Source 4. The said gentleman will be used as a visual guide. If the gentleman is taken to be approximately 5 foot 8 feet or 1.7 meters in height, then the cliff is approximately 24 feet or 7.4 meters high from the white line marker to the top of the cliff at its lowest point. Google Earth shows the cliff at Burling Gap is 10 meters above mean sea level and the bottom of the cliff is 1 meter above mean sea level. Obviously, we are observing lower than the top of the cliff. We are probably observing the bottom of the cliff as it is nearly low tide, but this cannot be confirmed visually, so a fair height of 5 meters or 16 and a half feet above mean sea level will be used. 
Tide data Thursday, 6th of August, 2020. Tide level at Worthing. Tide level at 6.24 p.m., 1.65 meters above lowest astronomical tide. Tide level at Beachy Head. Beachy Head is between New Haven and Eastbourne, so a mid-value will be taken. Tide level at 6.24 p.m., 2.11 meters above lowest astronomical tide. The tide levels are measured above LAT, or lowest astronomical tide. The diagram below shows the designation for tide levels. Lowest astronomical tide is defined as the lowest tide level which can be predicted to occur under average meteorological conditions and under any combination of astronomical conditions. Many national charting agencies, including the United Kingdom Hydrographic Office and the Australian Hydrographic Service, use the LAT to define chart datums. Data Analysis The Worthing tide level above LAT is 1.65 meters. Worthing mean sea level is 3.3 meters, so the Worthing tide level at the time of the observation is 1.65 meters below mean sea level. Camera on the beach at Worthing, 5 meters above mean sea level. Camera on the tripod, 1.07 meters above the ground. Camera height, 5 meters plus 1.07 meters plus 1.65 meters equals 7.72 meters. Camera height, is 7.72 meters above tide level. The prudent camera height, 8 meters above tide level or 26 feet above tide level. Burling Gap tide level above LAT, 2.11 meters. Burling Gap mean sea level is 3.7 meters. Burling Gap tide level 3.7 minus 2.11 meters equals 1.59 meters below mean sea level at the time of the observation. Burling Gap cliff value taken, 5 meters above mean sea level. Taken cliff value, 1.59 meters plus 5 meters equals 6.59 meters. Prudent taken cliff value is 7 meters above tide level, or 23 feet above tide level. Summary. Burling Gap Cliff was observed from Worthing Yacht Club at a distance of 43.4 kilometers or 27 miles. The camera at Worthing was 8 meters or 26 feet above tide level. The Burling Gap Cliff section used is 7 meters or 23 feet above tide level. What does the Earth Curve Calculator say? According to the Earth Curve Calculator, the hidden height would be 285 feet or 87 meters. If the hidden height is 285 feet or 87 meters above tide level, then what shouldn't be seen if this observation occurred on a globe? The Bell Tout Lighthouse will be used as a marker point. How high is the Bell Tout Lighthouse above mean sea level? The base of the Bell Tout Lighthouse is 80 meters or 262 feet above mean sea level. The base of the Bell Tout Lighthouse was 82 meters or 269 feet above tide level. Beachy Head tide level above LAT 2.11 meters. Beachy Head mean sea level is 3.7 meters. Beachy Head tide level 3.7 meters minus 2.11 meters. 1.59 meters below mean sea level. The base of the Bell Tout Lighthouse, 80 meters above mean sea level. Height above tide level, 1.59 meters plus 80 meters equals 81.59 meters. The prudent value is 82 meters or 269 feet above tide level. With a hidden height above tide level of 285 feet or 87 meters, Nothing underneath the yellow line would be observed on a globe. On a globe, this is what would be seen. More than 12 times lower than what should be possible on a globe is observed. Hidden height of 285 feet or 87 meters above tide level at the yellow line. 23 feet or 7 meters above tide level are the cliff's height at the lowest point. This observation was not carried out on a globe. 
There is nothing further I can say at this point. Next video. Same day, same place, looking west. The Isle of Wight. Distance 38 miles or 61 kilometers. Guess what the yellow line indicates. You guessed it. Remain curious and keep asking questions. My sincere thanks to Karen B. for her technical support in this production. Dedicated to Motown, Flat Earth, and Brandon Toy. Please check out their channels. Thanks for watching.